summer? Well, for sure. I mean, anytime you, you win a championship and accomplish something as a team, uh, you know, it, it's good. It means a shorter summer and you want that every year and, you know, we'll take it. Um, you know, as far as the move goes and being out here in uh, Southern California, uh, my family, we've been here for about 40 days and we've enjoyed it very, very much so far as a, you know, living, uh, beautiful area, um, just lots to do, all that good stuff. But, you know, being close to the Kings and being part of this organization is, is huge. It's, it's so important and, uh, you know, there's going to be lots of people at every game and uh, for the players' sake, which is great. So, uh, again, lots of people watching them and, and hopefully we can have the same success we did last year. You kind of touched upon it a little bit there, but what have been some of your first impressions? I mean, to, to go cross country, I mean, you've done it, I've done it. A lot of people have done it with the organization going, I mean, for me, it was 2,700 miles in several days to get out here. But what have been, you know, once your feet have been settled a little bit, how has your family been adjusting? Oh, good. You know what? Uh, again, you know, it's a different different life, right? It's it's different out here where, you know, the sun's shining every day and, and you know what you're going to get uh, weather-wise. And then, uh, you know, it's just it's just different, right? You're moving across the country, but it, it's really good. I mean, the people have been great. Uh, again, there's lots to do, lots of places to go and see. Um, you know, the Ontario uh, area is, is beautiful, lots, uh, lots of shopping and, and dining and, and whatnot. So there'll be lots of things for our players to do and, um, you know, but at the same time be able to focus on our, on our hockey. Now on the hockey side again, as I mentioned, it was a short summer. I mean, how have you been able to get adjusted? Was it, was it too short for you or are you ready to get back to work? I was talking with Coach Stubble earlier and he mentioned that it was, it was the perfect amount of time. Do you feel it was the same? Yeah, absolutely. You know, like you said, you'll take, you'll take going far into the playoffs any day and having that short summer, you, you know, it's condemned, but it's good. That's, uh, that's the way you want it. Now moving forward, I mean, do you feel the expectations are still pretty high? I mean, it's not returning to Manchester where you have that fan base and that familiar rink and the, the sights, the sounds, the smells. Different building, different facility, different fans, but do you still feel that expectation rolling in as essentially defending champions? Well, absolutely. I mean, you, you're the champions for a reason. Everyone's going to be gunning for you. Um, but those expectations, we expect that of ourselves every day. And, uh, we'll work towards getting better each and every day, and, and that's our end goal is to, to be playing in June. Well, as you mentioned, to get better every day. For you as a coaching staff, it has to be nice, too, just to have the Kings at your leisure just right down the road. How much is that going to play a role in, in, in improving your, your success and trying to go up the ladder uh, from a coaching standpoint? Well, you know what? Anytime you can pick guys' brains, uh, you know, the coaching staff here, development, uh, aiding with, with us and the players. I mean, it's, it's a win-win for everybody, and uh, it's nice being close.